else, it means that we need. So we will say that result is a S call method divide numbers and plus empty string. Else. And in the end, we will say that text will result. Call method set text and proceed result. Save changes and ladies and gentlemen, this should be it. Let's run our application. Okay. Fields are empty and if we press enter, please enter numeric values. And if we try to enter something which is not numeric, enter, please enter numeric values. Okay. For example, first number is 10 and second one is 2. Since operation is plus, enter, result is 12. Operation is minus, enter, result is 8. Operation is multiply, enter, result is 20. Operation is divide, enter, result is 5. And if operation is divide and second number is 0, enter, 0 cannot be a divisor. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's bad if you make application like this. For example, now if we change the dimension of our window, we can see that our components are not responsive. For example, one solution can be that we use this function. So we will say mt call method set resize able and we will proceed false. Save changes and now when we run our application and now if we try to change dimension of our frame or window, we cannot change dimension of our window. Okay, and now let's try to do all of this but in other way. So this time we will use one Eclipse plugin. So if you use Eclipse and you do not have plugin window builder, first of all, you should find out how to install this plugin. That's the first task for you. Okay, here we've got uh, another package, JUIA, I right click, choose new, other, and here, as you can see, I have window builder plugin installed. And from here, I will use application window. Next name, I will call it mat. Finish. And as you can see, again, we have mat class in our new package. And we already got some code. Okay, this is main method. Window frame set visible true like we had previous time. Frame object, set bounds, set default close operation, and the previous time the width was 330, I think, never mind, and the height was 220. And now when we call G frame constructor, we will proceed string mat. Save changes and as you can see now we have, we have two views source where we can enter our code and we also have design view. Let's open design view. And as you can see now we can put components on our window by choosing components and here we've got layouts. Previous time we did not use any layout, any manager. And this time we are going to use one of these. We have absolute layout, border layout, grid, etc. etc. But how to put layout on our window? 
point mouse on our window, right click and choose set layout. Set layout, sorry. For the beginning we will choose absolute layout. And now we can put components on our window. First of all we have labels. So click on J label and do not drag, just point mouse on our window, click on our window. On the left we have properties variable. The name is label, but previous time the name was label number one. And text was number one. Okay, the next component is text field. Click on text field, point mouse on video, click. Okay, variable, the previous time was text field number one. Okay, now we have combo box. Mm, yeah, here it is. Click on combo box, point mouse on video, click, and the previous time the name of variable was CB operation. Again we add a label, click on the window, the variable name was L number 2 and the text was number 2. Also we have another text field. Click on window. The variable name was text field number 2. Ok. We also have button. Click on the button and click on the window. The variable name was button enter and the text was enter. Again we will click on J label, click on the window. The variable name was L result and text was result. Click on the text field, click on the window. OK, the variable name was text field, result, and that's it. OK, let's get back in source view. And as you can see, the new code appeared. OK, we, here we've got all of our We have text fields, but uh, okay. Let's find uh, let's find combo box. Let me copy this. Okay, and here I will say that generic type is string. Okay, and. Right, combo box, and I will also say private J button button enter, and here I will also use generic type string. Okay, and now let's find button enter, so I can remove this. Part. Let's save changes. Okay, everything looks fine. And now, 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 I will set bounds for label. So let me use the previous code. Okay, I will copy this. And paste here. 
Okay. Text field number one. Okay, I will copy this. And paste here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay, combo box. I need combo box. Mm -hmm. oh, let's skip this and paste. Mm -hmm. Combo box, yes, here. Yeah. Okay. Label number two. Okay. So instead of this, here, but not two times. Okay, 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 okay. Number two, text field number two. I need this. Text field number two. Yes, the seat. Okay. Button enter. I need this. Button enter. Yes. And label result. Okay. And I need text field result. Yep. Okay. Let's save changes. And now let's open design view. Yes. Now it's much better. <coughs> And now let's change the layout. Again, right click on our window, set layout, and this time choose group layout. And now let's click on label, and here there is arrow. Click on arrow and choose auto resize A. Do the same for all components. Auto resize A. Auto resize Abe. 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 And auto resize Abe. Okay. Save changes and let's get back in the source code. So let's find. Let's find, uh, let's find, so you see that code is changed, and now I need initialize method, okay, this is our constructor, here I will call method field combo box. And I will call method add listener. And of course we need we need result rs and I will import result from our previous package. And here I will say that rs is new result. Okay. So let me copy field combo box from previous code. Oh, 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 oh. Copy. Paste somewhere here. OK, and add listener. Mm -hmm. 
Perdición. Ok, ok, ok. Copy and. And, and paste somewhere here. Let's save changes and that's, that should be it. Okay, something is wrong. Uh, 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 uh. Source format and let's see where. Uh, the, the, the listener. So what's wrong? Uh, okay. This import is. And what else is wrong? What else is wrong? Let me see, let me see. Okay. Yep. Here, instead mark this, let's just put null. And here. Okay. Save changes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's run our new application. So run as Java application. Here it is. Okay. Let's check enter. Please enter numeric values. If we try to enter something which is not numeric, enter. Please enter numeric values. Okay. Five. Three plus enter eight minus two multiply fifteen divide should be one. Okay, and if second number is zero and operation is divider, enter zero cannot be divided. Okay, and now when we change dimension of our Window, we can see that all components changing dimensions. So this time our application is responsive. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this will be all for these two tutorials. So your task is to find out, for example, if you use Eclipse, how to install Window Builder plugin. That would be all for these tutorials. See you and I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching.